Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. The name of this video is Kinetic Energy. And so, in this video, as the name states, we're not going to use any energy weapons. We're going to use all en kinetic energy weapons, uh, you, know, you know, physical weapons, um, you know, with, with, with um, gunpowder or, you know, rocket power, stuff like that. Alright, so we're using um, the Punisher T's, which is uh, twin machine guns, tri triple twin machine guns on the Fujin. We're using the Storm, which is uh, a new shotgun with um, the old fashioned Orkins. Uh, we're using the Leo with the Punisher T's with the Trident, level 4 Trident. And you may be asking, I do have a, um, what do you call it? That, that that machine gun the triple machine gun um, um that for but i'm rather the trident because of the range from the, the, the range and the splash damage from the trident that splash damage really scares um people and that hundred that extra hundred meter range does also make a difference as far as engaging the enemy first um you know you know so it kind of it kind of shocks them on how, uh, as far as how do they approach the situation we're taking a chance at this level with the um aphid and so but um basically i was unable to find anything else to do with kinetic weapons as a matter of fact you guys see on the kumio we had to mix it here so um domination i think would be the best fit for us so we're going to go into the jump domination and i'll see you guys in the match all right not really sure who to begin with here um i'm gonna go ahead and start with good old Rajin. i have not played her in a while so i'm gonna go ahead and start with her um hmm. common strategy for me on this map here is you want to try to cover this beacon so what i'm going to do is go ahead and try to set up shop oh and now uh, bad choice so let's get down and they got me they got me cold here Woo. Woo, guys all right so i'm going to try to let them pay for that and go straight into our enforcer here so let's see some strategy i'm thinking the Aries is going to be cocky and walk straight in here so I'm, I'm hoping for that. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and, and, and come straight to the front here. And see what we can get out of that. Splash damage around that corner. All right. All right so they're, they're gonna rethink that forward. All right. He's coming down and coming down again. He's not out there. Go ahead. I, I might have to rush him because it's, it's, he's definitely gonna play hide and seek. This is gonna be his best spot. All right. They have Hetchy. Now, now here is where you want to see if your team comes in. I'm going to go ahead and start backing off just so I don't get caught because I know I am going to be one of my best defenses for my team at this point here. So I'm going to back off of that corner and not fully wait for my team to come rescue me. Which is, you know, it would be ludicrous for them to um, not be paying attention to what's happening here. So let me, um, yeah, let me, let me get their attention to... So kind of what's happening over here. Uh, I didn't want to get jammed up over here. Let me, let me see if I'm um, going to knock his heel down at least. So get him knock his confidence down from, from charging in here. Alright. One thing I could, could do is delay. I want to make sure this guy goes one robot down with that with that with that um with that um very yeah, This guy's confidence on the edge of the catching big confidence boost for his his um his 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 finger. So if I could if I could keep it, if I could keep him in check, then oh, and I'm letting him know I will confront. Him. I will confront him. I will confront him. So he, he tried to save Ares, and Ares, 
I don't know if Ares is still living, but he got killed. Alright, so from what I've been learning guys about strategy, this beacon over here, beacon B, I believe it will be, is a very important beacon to have. So that's why you see me very focused on beacon uh, B over here. Because that, the amount of the amount of buildings over here really does afford the, the other team the on the best and my, my fireball speaking really does afford the team very good flanking opportunities. Uh, so. I want to get some rockets there before you even clear the corner. Get some rockets there before they even clear the corner. Not playing nice. Not playing nice. So and, and, and being a big distraction over here guys. I might be able to, to, to wear the, you know, making my presence known over here um, might, be, might, might do a lot against them uh, let's, if this guy doesn't land the right place he's going to be in a lot of trouble this is not going to be an escape route for him not going to be an escape route for him here again I want to cover these bits over these areas here. There's not nothing happens for free around here. Nothing happens for free around here. Yeah. Keep the cover, keep that pressure going. Glad to get the support from my teammates. Um, yeah, and I'll be a good time to get in here. Uh, sorry he had to do that by himself. I just had to make sure of what's going on. What was going on? I, I feel like I'm, I'm holding back like we're playing Beacon Rush and it really isn't Beacon Rush. Alright, right, this guy is... Uh, he just finally noticed his, um, his range here. Alright, this guy got me with his, uh, with his lockdown. You can move, let's, let's, let's just sort of dash out of there. Yeah, as I, I expected, retaliation was coming. Uh, let's hide. Um, I'm, guys, I, I am I am very hesitant lately to use um, power cells. Um, I'm just not gaining them. It's not fear the way that the matchups that we're going to. It's not fear what we're going to with the matchups. Alright, so we're going to robots right now. So I'll spin a robot. I'll waste the robot here. Now is probably a good time. We need a beacon. Now is a good time for me to go Kumio. And I, I, you know, guys, at this level of gameplay, I'm very weary to look at, you know, to lose, to, to drop my guard, to say, hey, we're winning because of beacon, not beacon control, but um, you know, because of the numbers. I'm very leery of it now. And um, I'll, I thought I'm, I'm usually with this setup. Usually on my Kumio, I'm running the the, the orchid, which gives is a 350 range. So, so that's kind of the um, why I'm a misfire there. You guys, we need to know. I want to do a video about strategies. Don't know if I'm going to get there because, you know, right now, really seriously, I want to start holding war robots accountable for just, just, you know, the, the foolishness, the lack of accountability with gameplay, with, 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 as far as what's going on right now. It's really crazy. It's really crazy that they're, they're, they're not being accountable. Um, I was watching a recent video by another YouTuber, and you know. You know, but basically they're saying is um, you know, that what War Robots promised us no new content as far as um, no new robots and weapons and stuff. And they, and uh, and and uh, what they're saying is that you know apparently they you know they turn it out, they turn it out. Still, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. They. Oh, he has last stand, guys. So he, he did not pop. Alright, so now is a good time to go in with my um with my Leo. It's gonna be one video guys because um war robots you can't make two videos. I made I made a video just now, but you know what? Let's let let us give them a fair shot, see how it goes. But I really want to be a big investigative invest investigative journalist covering war robots and what's going on right now. Good, bad, and the ugly. So I'm recording all my gameplay. I want to catch the, the tankers, the, the guys that are, that, are, that are dropping. I want to catch the, mix, the mismatch gameplays that we have. I want, you know, I want to. Uh, um, at this level, guys, 
I, I do all I can. All I can do is play smart. You know, I don't have the fire powers most of the time. So even if I was running my best hanger, I, sometimes I'm coming out at the bottom of the totem pole because you know I, I just have to play smart at this level. I can't play as aggressive as I was at the lower levels and still be successful and help my team in their best way and still be successful. All right. Um, we'll talk about some of the some some of my counters to being at this level and trying to still be successful in upcoming videos but for the sake of not making the video longer you know I'm, I'm gonna end it right here so this is my attempt at doing a kinetic only um, lineup and I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you did and please uh, hit the notification if you wanna 